Penn State, Miami, each with dreams of a national crown. First and goal, this place is going nuts. He goes to the five-yard line, touchdown! It's hurricane season once again. Butch Davis's squad is chewing up yards and opponents. A program resurrected, chasing the magic of a day gone by. 31 to 30, going for two. Gill takes, looks, rolls, throws, deflected away! Miami leads 31-30! The team of the 80s before falling on hard times. Penn State. Every step guided by Joe Paterno's steady hand. Always a force on both sides of the ball. No different this year. This may be the top team in America. The Nittany Lions were the best on that hot Arizona night. When a Fiesta Bowl crown and a national championship were both secured during the clock's final ticks. Miami. Penn State, time to put the ball in the air. Time for some hard truths. And here come the Nittany Lions of Penn State, led by Joe Paterno at age 72. He hasn't lost a step, bringing his team out onto the playing field. Last time these two teams met was in 1972. That was at Beaver Stadium at State College. And it was uh, Miami that won that day by a field goal. Ready to kick off for Penn State is Travis Forney. And they're the deep men now for Miami of Florida. Andre King is back deep. This is Andre King. Eight yards deep and he'll not bring it out in his wisdom. Tremendous play faker. You'll see him roll out. This crowd kicking in big time early. Hit a run and a great defensive play. Austin Crew is 86. Courtney Brown, who many NFL scouts regard as the second down and 16. Jackson. <laughs> Nittany Lions give him nothing again. Courtney Brown is unblockable, the guy they call. The quiet storm. Hey, it's the two studs. It's Arrington and Courtney Brown. They're two All-Americans make the first two plays for the Penn State defense. Now we look at the uh, Penn State defensive front. There's Courtney Brown. Kirpakis, the right end, is undersung. He's a terrific pass rusher. We got pluggers in the middle. Fleischauer and the Wallace lock the run. There's the great linebacking trio of Arrington, Short, and Morrison. Some say the best trio at one time Penn State's ever had. That's saying a lot. Third down. Kelly from the shotgun. Big rush. Downfield throw. Santana Moss can't get to the ball. Well defended by the Nittany Lions. And opposing putters when he tries to block them from going down to cover. But right now it's first and ten for the Nittany Lions. At their 47. After their defense slammed the door on the Hurricanes opening series. Throw and a catch downfield. Shoffy Fields coming off the front right here. Fate with the ball. Miami's defense kicks in. They're looking at Eric McCoo now, and they upend him as he cuts back to the time of his life. 60% completion. Four TDs, three interceptions. Does not run. Averages a half yard running per try. The backup quarterback, though, Rashard Casey, who runs with the very best. We'll see him. Penn State. He's running, he's got some room. Hey, he can run. He's inside the 30, no sooner said. Edward Reed, a strong safety, came up as we look at the Nittany Lions skill players. Two and Aaron Hicks, the starting runners. Fields in the fastest Nittany line, Eddie Drummond, the wideouts. Right end is Tony Stewart. Offensive line of the Nittany Lions has given up nine sacks in three games. That's been a concern. Second down. Lions need 12. Oh, what a hit. Middle backer. Nate was a huge factor at the closed end of the field. Sack. Strong safety. 22, and the Nittany Lions have to punt. Cat Pigeon, their punter, hits it high. Haynes let it roll down. Great coverage play. 
of action. Miami did nothing on his first possession. They slammed the door on the Canes, did the Penn State defenders. James Jackson, they line him up all over the field. Throw down, they're shooting, and that's intercepted. Picked off by Derek Fox with strong safety for Penn State. Looking for blockers, and he's got some. Inside the 25, he loses the ball. And it's picked up by a teammate, and finally Sam. Underneath, and Aaron to number 11 is going to cover right over here. Watch him cover the tight end, man to man. It forces the ball up into the air, and Fox makes the interception. Fox is very tall. Let me tell you something. Harrington made that play. He loses it now. Fox and uh, David Macklin picks it up. Watch the speed here. A 245-pound step for step with the All-American tight end, Bubba Franks. The position people make plays. Hand off. McCoo looking to go wide, and there's nothing there again. The Penn State runner. And he's number eight. Here's a throw and a catch. The ball is taken in by the quick Eddie Brown. Thompson throws and connects down inside the 15-yard line. Looks like a 15-yard line. No score. Here's the blitz. Kevin Thompson does this That's really fast for a linebacker. Thompson puts up a wounded duck. Nearest guy to the ball was a... I'm the Hurricane, and Edward Green down to Virginia Tech. And they'll be going for blocks today. Forney, a good field goal kicker, spins it up, knocks it through. Travis Forney is 5 for 5 on the season, kicking field. Back to Jackson, fighting off tackle. He advances to Hannah Moss. Jackson, turning up. Well defended by the middle backer, Brandon Short. Good play fake. They got the second quarterback in. Rashard Casey throws and completes it. There is a penalty marker fired in by the... Holding on the offense. Ten yards. Good runner, but not so far this year. Only 2.4 a carry, but he can break it. Up there, Harry uses his great feet to get away. They had him and lost him. And look at Casey in the open field. Tremendous play by... Now he loses the ball. Miami's got it. <laughs> Kevin Thompson. So Miami with a turnover gets the ball on the Penn State side of the field. High ball thrown downfield and it's picked off. David Macklin goes up. So a horrendous early performance by the sophomore quarterback. Mark, you're in your third start. You still have a lot to learn. Play action. He's trying to get up the ball down the field. Macklin's got it well covered. The ball locally under the throne. in the high 80s. Run blitz, but the Nittany Lions break it on the run now as Aaron Harris is all the way out across the 40 yard. Oh. Don't see the clip on the run game very well. Penn State with good, better, and best at the running back position. They just come at you in waves. Casey's still in the game. Here's Eric McCoo. And he breaks it across the 35 yard line. On the other side. On second down, Casey takes a look back to the near side. Can they run him down? Not until he gets a bounce offense so far. Third down. Throw and a catch. And a first down for the Nittany Lions. Down. In the final minute of the first quarter, Casey called his own number as a quarterback draw. This changes the defense. This is a gambling defense. Casey gets time, airs it out. He's got a guy wide open. Shoffy Fields is in the end zone, and Penn State has the first touchdown of the day on a 50-yard scoring play. And the Nittany Lions extend to a 9 left nothing lead with the extra point coming up. Penn State. Top of your screen. It's just a streak pattern. Myers lets him go, expecting help over the top. Popovich runs with the number two guy, and number 23, James Lewis, never showed up. Critical busted assignment right there in Rashard Casey. Pumped up. Yeah, the that drive was three for three for 59 yards throwing the ball. So now it is third and 21. With a run. Apparently he will come back to play. Thompson gets time. Triggers a beautiful throw. Nice there. Second and 11. Good play fake. Thompson takes a look. Breaks containment. Then he's sacked at the 40-yard line. 
Third down. Thompson needs 12 on the throw. They get him again as they try to strip the ball. Field of dreams for many who played here and cheered here. So many Super Bowls decided here. Orange Bowls and national championships. Here's a throw and Aaron so Nebraska 31-30 for the Canes first national championship. Oh. Look at that stick. Good to see that Jackson's back in the game, but what a welcome back here's at the college level. Top of your screen, 86. You can't block him like that from the inside out. He came hard, culture number 18. Tremendous defensive performance, holding a 10-0 lead. Kelly stands in from behind. Courtney Brown, absolutely a dominator. And they call the quiet storm. He wants no part of being a celebrity. Made the great inside move. Now on the right side of your screen, watch him just throw off number 77, Robert Hall, the tackle. Throws him away and has the dexterity and the quickness to chase down. South Carolina, Courtney Brown. That was his 48th tackle for a loss in his career at Penn State. School record. Ooh, a fumble punt. And the Canes get a break. But not today. This Penn State defense has it. Kelly looks. Here comes the rush. They oh. nail him for a huge loss. This is Perpacus. 37, top of your screen. Gets past the block of Hall. McPartland can't get to him. And there is, once again, a rookie mistake. You can't take the sack here. Two bad plays in a row have taken him completely out of field goal position. Which has none of those plays on his chart. Kelly from the shotgun. Running out of time. Buys some time with his feet. Here comes Kirpikas. He's picked off. Long ball to the end zone. Tipped away from Santana Moss. They're leading 10 0. Miami with a total offense of minus two yards because of the sacks. Here comes Aaron Harris. Blocking. Davis said they won't have any thousand yard rushes because they got too many good guys. Nobody will get enough carries. Here's the throw downfield and almost picked. Wow. A lot of pressure. Third down. Thompson and the Nittany Lions need nine. Near side throw. Off the hands of Eddie Drummond at the midfield line. He only ran the ball for Oklahoma. Here's a throw up the middle. Tight end gets his first good down when things go wrong. They need him now more than ever. Here's a handoff. Jackson turning wide, turning up, breaking it ahead. Mark was a career guy. Too smart to cut him even when he lost speed. Kelly buys time. Fires on the run. Look at that throw. That's what Kenny Kelly can do. Gaines needs six. Rain falling. They're down by ten. Kelly with a fastball comes in low. He's a center fielder in that temper. He needs six. Kelly throws. He gets Bubba Franks who loses the ball. Rain falling. Blitzer's coming. Kelly steps in. He's on the run. Look at that move. But Kelly is taken down. No, he's not. He breaks the tackle. And he's inside the 15-yard line. He's not done till he's down to the seven. Pulling rabbits out of hats. 18 yards. He was done. Fumble, Penn State. Penn State has the ball. After the 18-yard run, both young quarterbacks make spectacular plays only to ha have it end up in catastrophe. Watch the play getting away from Brandon Short right here. That's got to be a tackle. Great leg strength gets away from another tackle. Hold on to the football. There it comes. Big time hit at the end of the play by Fox. Ball comes loose. And boy, is that a huge... This game goes on because there are knockout hitters out there and it's wet. Long ball downfield. Beautifully covered. Leonard Meyer right on the satellite, too. Thompson, four for nine. Goes to the run. Harris, caught from behind, knocked down at the five-yard line. Why not? They're coming after him. Pigeon steps in and hits a beauty. A high spiral. Tough catch for Santana Moss, who makes it at the 38-yard Coaching that particular year. Kelly swings it out. Jackson gets the ball and somehow gets downfield. He's on the way. He's inside the 20 and gets out of bounds. So Kelly gets a little time. Buys some more. Takes a look. Off he goes and heads for the sideline and smartly dances Definitely out of bounds. looking for six instead of three. And off. They go to Jackson. Does it all. 29-yard attempt. 
on the way, and he splits him. So the Canes get points late in the second quarter. 23 seconds left in. Thompson gingerly puts the ball down, and they'll head to the locker room with a lot more to come, and a lot more to come at halftime on this big day in college football on CBS. At the end of the first half with a score, the Nittany Lions of Penn State 10, Miami 3. And now we send it to Tim Brando in New York. U.S. Army. And you know what? We talked about rushing yards. Neither team has established the run and turnovers. And I really believe, A, turnovers, and B, the young quarterbacks are going to decide this football game. Saving eight men who had been on a tug that went down. Here's the kickoff. Hit downfield, and Kenny Watson from the two-yard line for the Nittany Lions. Breaks it. Moves to the outside, trying to get by the kicker. He does, and they finally get him from behind. But a brilliant return. Well, that's coaching when you got the one earlier. Thompson throws, gets a man ahead for a gain of about five. Bringing those linebackers in and out. Lining the blitz, and off McCoo. Turning back, running well, needed five. Thompson dumps it off, Eddie Drummond. He's down close. They're practicing this a lot. So this is harder on the defensive backs than the offense. Needing six. Throw and a catch to the tight end. Tony Stewart is down for a first down to the... The front side of the formation cleared it out. And number 89, Stewart, the tight end, crossing your screen right now, came underneath the two wideouts who pushed the D-backs off deep. Second and goal. McCoo. Wide and in, standing up. And Penn State with a perfectly executed opening drive that was ignited by the 53-yard kick. Dancing moves here. I mean, they're coming at his feet. One step, boom, no problem. I'm going the Lions 17 to 3. Great move right there, getting to the corner. Defensive coordinator. The road Rich. to the top is always uphill. It is for them now for to get back in this game. Running the kickoff back for Miami. Start throwing now. They're not going to get their running the ball against this Penn State defense. Timing pattern near side. The ball is flipped out nicely. They head for a gain of about five yards to Mondrell Fulcher. Jackson. Cuts up. Cuts in. He's a hit. For... Jackson. Finds a gap on third down. Three and three and oh coming in. And he's number eight. Kelly gets it down. What a catch. Bubba representing Frank. the Big East. They've won their last eight against Big Ten opponents at Miami, but now Jackson. Rain has stopped right now. Jackson looks for a blocker, comes inside, and Jackson is down to the eighth. Eighth play of the drive. Right back to Jackson with a blocker. He's heading in, and James Jackson takes it the distance. Miami's back in the game. An 18-yard run for a touchdown. Richard Casey's in. Dodging trouble, but they nail him. Another sack for the Kane defense. They're down. They need over 10. They're going to blitz. Here it comes. Safety's coming. Linebacker's coming. And Richard Casey beats them all. Heading to the outside, he has a first down, and he could go the distance. The race is on. Will Richard Casey win it? Looks like he will. They finally get him from behind inside the 10-yard line. Hey, Don, they're going to bring it all the way back. There's oh, a little man. penalty flag. There it is, the clip. Wow, 72-yard run negated. That's a career for some guy. Hand off to McCoo. He breaks it, and then he's caught from behind. They're going for it. They almost get it. They say it's clean. He did tip the ball. They knocked the punter down, but they did get a piece of the ball. It doesn't get any closer, Don. We just Miami won an NCAA record 58 straight home games from 85 through 94. Kelly dumps it off. He gets McCartland, his big fullback, who doesn't get it off him, but loses the ball. It caroms downfield and goes out of bounds. Four. Up. Got caught up inside. Bad play, LeVar, but look at the hustle. Right arm is going to hook behind McPartland. Ball comes loose. Boy, that's just a great natural play at the end of it. He gets beat and then makes the play coming back. 
unfortunate for Miami, it got out of bounds. Kelly takes a look on second and nine. Dale's out of trouble for the moment. Fires a long ball. Look at this. It's taken oh. in. Touchdown. Santana Moss on the comeback pattern he beat Ohio State with on a 67-yard scoring play just like that. This was 40 yards. Really one of the standouts. Kickoff. Kenny Watson for the Lions. Comes out of the pack and gets a cross ball on the field. And Penn State gets it back at the Lights 20. On. Timing throw, Rashard Casey puts it on the numbers of Eddie Drummond, and he's ahead for a game of the 11. Early fourth quarter, as you see, 14-33. Lob throw, nicely timed, down with the ball, Shoffy Fields, and he's ahead for a big game. All the way down inside the 40 to the 35-yard line. He's made the right read. Sight adjustment on the man-to-man -man press coverage, that's a fade route. Good coverage, look where he drops it in. Right over his shoulder pad for a 26-yard gain. You don't do it any McCoo cuts back. Open gate. Eric McCoo, what a well-executed play by the Nittany Lions. Hand off. Straight ahead, Siramelli. Straight ahead, give. Not for a lot, but they get Springs, Florida. We played high school. Painter is a tailback. Shoffy Fields. Dang, dang. The Canes deliver the blows. One, two, and three on the line. Every guy, everything he's got, every play. Field goal. Travis Forney knocks it up and through, and the Lions break the tie and build a 20 to 17 lead with a lot of time left. Hannah Moss, number six. Kelly play fakes, takes a look, he fires, that's Santana Moss, and he's out down to the 36-yard uh, line, and a penalty marker comes in, could be a face mask with David Macklin. One of the Kenny Kelly takes a look, running out of time, he's on the run. Rudely interrupted was that run by LeVar Arrington, who throws in the down. Midwest. <laughs> They're on the ropes, there's no question about that. Here's a throw and a catch. What a nice looking play. You saw it all there. Jackson to the outside, the race is on and he's gone. James Jackson into the end zone, no flags and the Canes take the lead on a 39 yard touchdown run. sanctions across the 31 scholarships. Casey gets away. Richard Casey's on the run again. And they finally get him on the field of the 29-yard line. Third down. Casey stands in against a blitz. Throws and connects to Eddie Drummond. And the Lions have a first down out to the 30 in state. Casey swings it out. This is Harris. Stop for a loss. Back of the 31 yard State College. Here is uh, Casey backpedaling. Throws to an open man but goes to the wrong side. And it's third down and the Lions need 18. Here comes the rush. Throw. Intercepted. Edward Reed is on the run for Miami. He knows where to go. Here's a marker down. If he goes in it'll come back but it will be Miami's ball. And yeah, they're going to get worse than 10. Jackson to the 41 yard line in his last 15 games until today. Jackson's going to get more. Look at that block by McCartland. You got two guys. Haynes holding to a three-point lead. They were down by 14 in the third quarter and they come back to lead the game. Jackson putting on the moves, but he's not to play in it. Haynes go to a play fake. Open guy, overthrown. Penalty marker in from the back judge. Blocks like a tackle. Kenny Kelly, the sophomore quarterback, making just his third varsity start, settling down in the second half. Gets straight ahead to his workhorse. Jackson. Doing the right thing. The Wolverines go into Syracuse to play the Orangemen, who upset them at Ann Arbor last year. Check your local list. There's a game. If you do that, you lead the nation in turnover efficiency. They got their three today. Miami Hurricanes with an eight-game winning streak against Big Ten opponents. Jackson, this man is running hard all day, taking hits. He still has a full tank, Mike. Yeah, and that was the back to lead the drive. 
Uh, I, I think you have to go with Casey. He's had the hot hand, but if I, you know, Joe Pa usually goes with the guy he thinks is going to make the sure read every time. So this is going to be interesting. And I'm, a lot of people are going to second guess Butch Davis there. Has not lost, or the, actually Miami has uh, not lost to a Big Ten opponent in so many years. His eight game win streak. Last Miami lost to a Big Ten team was to Michigan 15 years ago. They don't play a lot of Big Ten teams. Long ball, there's a guy. It's caught! Shoffee Fields is on the run. A race to the end zone, and Shoffee Fields will win it. He goes in with 142 left to play. Look at the Penn State people on the field. They're going to get called. No gonna... flags. It's a touchdown. Penn State has come from behind on a 79-yard pass play. But we're not done. 141 left to go. Wow. This will be huge, this extra point, because if the Nittany Lions convert it, they will take a four-point lead, and the Hurricanes will have to score a touchdown. That was just a perfect throw. And here we are, under two minutes. Shawfee Fields on the fly pattern being covered by Mike Rump. Rump has pretty good coverage. Look at where he dropped the ball in. That is a great pass by Kevin Thompson. Wonderful concentration by Fields. And with 4-3, 4-4 speed, you're not going to catch him, Don Crickey. No, you're not. Shawfee Fields from inner city Philadelphia, Massbaum High School, a senior. Big play guy. He just makes a huge play. Fields today has caught five passes for 177 yards and two touchdowns. You remember that 50-yard reception in the first half when he was uncovered. Been the difference in the football game. And he was criticized. Field, it's a good kick. High, but there's wind coming at the ball. It'll be run back by Andre King. Stood up, thrown back at the 21-yard line. Nine yards from the end zone. They've got to get in it to win this game. Down by four. You know who made the tackle in that kickoff? All-American linebacker. LeBron. Lines up on defense. Ready to put the pass rush on. Kelly has to throw. Miami does have three timeouts. He can use the middle of the field. Fires over the middle. He does get his man on the open field. It's Andre King, and he's out to the safety. Cheats over on him. They want to double him up. Here's a Kelly looking at him. Eludes the rush. Fires downfield. Intercepted. The ball is picked off. Ascari Adams takes it back, and Penn State will win the game if they can run out the clock with 1.11 left to go. Ascari Adams, a uh, free safety from Camp Hill, Pennsylvania, who's been contending all year for the starting free safety role with James Boyd, who was the start with the full out blitz. Arrington up the middle, King from the corner. Good job eluding him. That's full man to man coverage. That's what Miami wanted. The ball was underthrown, and Adams made a great play, cutting it back to the run. Conservative football. Harris stays in bounds. Gets they're going to no continue game. with that two quarterback system. Casey calls his own number and runs it. Didn't get there. Down to the 35-yard line with 51 seconds. And again, timeout is Miami out of timeouts. 50 seconds left. Casey keeps it himself. Didn't get there. Miami takes over the ball now to change of possession. The clock stops with 46 seconds left to play. Interesting call. Santana Moss, second player up in the bottom of your screen, the slot receiver. He's the fastest. Elliott quarterback. Middle linebacker's coming on a blitz. So is Arrington. Here's Kelly. Runs away from trouble. Long ball. Only guy out there is a Nittany Lion. Yet another pick. And that will do it. Right to Bajor Joe. Their end of the field. Anything long, they're going to be in position to make a play on. Five Miami turnovers. Thompson in the game at quarterback. Puts the ball down. And Butch Davis sees his defense powerless to stop the clock. Another thrilling day at the Orange Bowl. <laughs> Miami fought the good fight. I, I think that program, let's give them some credit, Don. I think that program's come a long way in the five years under Butch Davis. And they will be a force to be reckoned with nationally here in the Orange Bowl. And that's going to do it as Penn State with a tremendous come-from-behind win. The Nittany Lions... 
Backs to the wall, hit the big play, a 79 touchdown play. Jeff says, hey, what can you do? Uh, Butch Davis said one of the first football books he read when he was in grammar school was the first book Joe Paterno wrote on coaching. That'll do it. Now for Mike Mayock. This is Don Cricky from the Orange Bowl in Miami, where the final score is Penn State 27, Miami 23. For more great college football action, tune in tonight for number two, Tennessee, at number four, Florida, or number six, Michigan, at Syracuse. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports. And now to New York and to Tim Brando.